Hey you, give me like five seconds of your time. Close your eyes and imagine the scenario in your head. Hey there, Philip. Isn't it an amazing day today? The sun is basking its warm heat onto us. Everyone's happy. I bet this week is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Okay, you're not imagining there? Alright. Hey there, I'm Nigel, and if you're wondering what you were just looking at, my friend, that is what society as a whole would look like if climate change continued to affect the ocean. Okay, now if the first example wasn't good enough on explaining what the ocean and marine life would look like if climate change continued, here, I'll give you another example. Here's two images. Here's image one, and here's image two. Now, if you were any normal human being, you would probably pick the first one over the second one. If you prefer the second one, I know what kind of man you are. Those two images, to an extent, accurately capture the possible outcomes of our oceans of whether climate change continues or not. Now, if you're still not catching on to what climate change can do to our lovely oceans, here, I'll list a couple effects. Okay, okay, here's my list for all the possible negative effects that climate change could present. Oxygen levels would decrease to the warmer temperatures in the water, killing all marine life. Now you know what that can mean though, right? This would mean that marine life would die, biodiversity would die, all the fish would die, we as humans would also get affected by the upcoming exchanges of marine life, and we'd also get affected by the higher water levels due to the melted ice caps as well. You know what this all means? <laughs> we'll never find Nemo! Now that you know what climate change could possibly do to our lovely oceans, close your eyes and think of this scenario. A world where climate change didn't affect our oceans. If you want this beautiful, thriving future for all marine life and oceans, along with all of the fun memories that could be made thanks to them, such as fishing to enjoying the most elegant views of the ocean, you, my dear viewer, could and should take part in saving all of our oceans from climate change. Well there, partner. Now before you go out screaming your heart out for the sea, there are some things you gotta do to actually protect it. Some things you can do is conserving the amount of energy you produce, such as driving less. So yeah, go on a walk. Or run. I'm talking about you, Daryl. You can serve the lights in your house. And start going solar if you can, and use the sun as energy instead. You can also make sure no one litters and produces plastic pollution. If you're a person that litters in the ocean, I know what kind of man you are. Be sure to spread the message about climate change as well, so more of you can do the same in efforts to protect the oceans. Okay, so now that you're well informed, go out there and save our fishy brethren. May Dory and Ella DeGeneres be with you all.